Hi guys, Bruce here. Well, we got this is a machine that's come back. I sold this uh, HR214 to a real nice young guy, and he took it home, and the rewind broke. Now he's tried to put a red a red one on there. Looks like a big long shoe, but it looks it, it feels like there's some action on the spring. Uh, before he brought it back, I did order one. A Stens, it's fine. 3 8 millimeter bolts and we'll just take it off and have a look. So now we need a 10 millimeter bolt. We'll get you guys, I don't know how much you can see. And there, I think that'll work for you. 10 millimeter socket. Let's just take this bad boy apart. Crush brewing! No, no, there's lots of spring there. I'm going to cut this. it's skipping, right? Oh. He hasn't had it apart. It looks fine. Mosquitoes. I'm going to spray myself. Mosquitoes. 28.5% DEET. They don't make them like that anymore. Now, this, this spring is looking a little bit off. It looks a little jagged, doesn't it? Did he? I wonder if he put that notch in there. It may, you know, it doesn't look that bad to me. With a spring, quite often you end up bending it the other way, right? Okay, now let's... I want it to reach the center. Ah, uh, okay. Hold on. I'm going to clean it off.
Okay, I'll be right back. We're back. Now, I don't like the way this last bit looks on this spring. I think I'm just going to try and lay it relatively flat and hammer it out. That's a real, yeah, that's the real end. But it looks to me like right here, if you see, it looks like either this side or this side is stretched out. So now I'm going to load the spring into the carrier. I'll be right back. i got to turn you off. All right, all my friend. Let's have a look inside this one. This is an older one like the one we're working on. These are from the the 214 style Hondas will not fit the uh, the newer style GCV 160s. This one has no spring but it has a much nicer Plastic, non-deformed piece here. I might use that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See if this is the same. Yes. I'm going to use this. And it should work. I mean, I'm just looking stuff. Okay, I think this is the one. But I can't remember which direction the spring goes. It's nice to put any kind of glove on, but these are nice because you can grab the rubber. Alright, let's try it. Let's just see. Yeah, I think that's the one. Wind it up this way, it's going to want to unwind that way and pull the rope. Yeah, that should, okay, that should do it. A little bit of a step at a time here. Get a couple of revolutions going and we should be good. Not right. Now, I'm just going to keep going. I got this beat, and then I just have to line it up with that notch right in there. Man, we're so close. I'm just trying to put bends in the places that don't have bends, eh? And right there. Oh, shoot. Well, let's start all over again. Might as well put some bends in this before we continue. There we go. Okay, you guys saw the whole thing. I didn't want to put you through the pain, but I have to get this really close to this notch right here. And I think I'm there.
Should be so close. up against there. Those sirens sounds like they sound like fake police sirens, don't they? Here we go, we got her. We are on, we're on. Roger, Roger, Houston. Now, all we need to do is put this on, I think. Is there a spring? No spring? You guys getting a look at this? I hope you are. Five lines. One, two, three. Yeah, that should work. I don't know how many lines we need. We don't want to use this cord. We need this pull rope. What, by Joe, I think we're going. Except. Enough. All right, let's take this off again. Well, let's see where the knot's tied. All right, so you have to tie the knot before we wind, eh? some rope. Okay, old Honda 214 rewind. You start here, the knot goes in this little square hole right there. I think I can start it even through the hole here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, I gotta, I can't do it without the cover on, so. Try the other end. Well, I can do it this way too. There it is. Come on. Good. This is a good size rope. I believe it's 5.5, whatever the measurement is. It's not millimeters, it's the size. Okay. Good. Hmm, he's a big oil. He work, guy works in the oil field. He's big and strong. Is that going to be enough? I think so. Yep. Now, we, we bring this around. 
One, two, three, four, and five. That should do it. Stick that through there like that. We're not going to bend this back down just yet. And I heard a dong. We've got to go around one more time. See that? One more yet. Oh. Let's just put this on here for sure. On there. Good. Is that on there? Uh, yes, it is. Let's see if it's on there good enough. We can still wind the spring if we have to. I should have done this before, actually. Good. Hey, hey, hey! a little too tight. I'm going to take one rind out, wind out now. And see if that's enough. Because it's an old spring, right? Nope. I think I got her. Needs some oil, but that's good. Sounds terrible. I should have oiled that spring. What can I oil that spring with? Well, we have control now. We need some more oil in here. Anyway, we got it, guys. So one one thing you got to do when you're putting these together is this cap. Do you see those two little tabs? They go over that plastic bump right there. That's that's. It's not going to hold together if you don't do that. There we go. I think I'm there. Nope. Now I am. She's a done deal. I'd love to. I should have. I should have oiled that spring, eh? Wish there was a way to get some oil in there. Do I dare take it apart?
I want to. Anyway, I'm going to play with this. It's done. And we'll talk to you guys later. All right, my friends. So it was the worn notch on the back of the old one. Eh? I put it back together again. But it still could be useful. Thanks for this. Those are nice old machines, aren't they?